Most South Africans are still reeling from the trauma caused to them by the brutal apartheid system engineered by those who are currently in alliance with the ruling party within the government of national unity. As a result of this political dynamic, Umkoto Isizwe party remains the only revolutionary political party capable of resolving the challenges of unemployment, poverty, inequality, and landlessness in our country. We are the only party which is consistently on the side of the people. This is because Umkoto Esizwe Party is alive and awake to the political reality of who constitute as our primary motive force as we strive for the total liberation of the black majority from the brutal system of white capitalist establishment, whose sole existence is to keep the majority of our people away from the control of the economy, our stolen minerals, and our dispossessed land. Thank you. Only Umkonto Wesizwe Party is capable of fighting and winning this battle that lies ahead. The recently unanimously adopted constitution of Umkonto Wesizwe Party confers certain political responsibilities on the hands of the leadership collective of the party. In particular, the president. The party has recently finalized the audit of its political personnel following the deployment of most of its leaders to various provincial legislatures as well as the National Assembly. As part of our efforts to strengthen the party and simultaneously ensure accountability by those deployed by the party in various positions, the national officials met to discuss the available vacancies obtain, obtaining in various provinces. The main aim is to strengthen our provincial detachment and adequately resource them so as to effectively deal with the challenges facing our people in various provinces. The recently concluded meeting of the national officials deliberated on the kind of a cadre required to lead this new phase of our revolution in various provinces. The party requires leaders who possess special qualities as clearly explained in the constitution of the party. I quote, our commitment extends to all South Africans advocating for policies that ensure the equitable distribution of resources, enhance public services, and uphold the rights and dignity of every citizen. Close quote. This task can only be performed by a special character required to lead the party. It is a testament to our resolve to not only remember the past, but to actively shape a future that aligns with the highest aspirations of those who have paved the way for freedom and democracy. Through these leaders, the Umkonto Wesizwe Party reaffirms its role as a custodian of the people's hope and a proactive agent in the pursuit of equality and justice for every South African. Today, we are announcing the appointment of the provincial conveners of the provinces of KwaZulu Natal and Pumalanga. For the MKP, the province of KwaZulu Natal is very important and strategic because our organization is the largest political party in KwaZulu Natal after the, general, the 2024 general elections. 
KwaZulu Natal is important to the MKP because we will win in the foreseeable future. It, we will, in the foreseeable future, constitute government in the province, as is the largest and most supported political party in the province. We take this opportunity to announce that Comrade Willis Ntunu will be the provincial convener of Umkontoresi Zotar. We all know Comrade Willis Ntunu. He is a struggle veteran and a seasoned cadre who has served in different responsibilities in the former liberation movement. He was a member of the KZN legislature from 1994 to 2019 and was deputy speaker and speaker of the legislature. Comrade Willis Mkunu is the former premier of the province of KwaZulu-Natal and currently the deputy chairperson of the province's planning commission. Comrade Willis Mkundu has the necessary political, ideological, and organizational capability to steer the party into a stable, responsible, and responsive movement in the province. Comrade Willis Mkundu will play a central and strategic role in the identification of leaders who will be appointed to lead to lead the KZN at provincial and regional levels. We command that all structures of the MKP in the province must subject themselves to the leadership of Comrade Willis Ntun, who will in the immediate be working with the employees of the National High Command in the province. The appointment of Comrade Willis Ntun as the convener means that all the leadership structures that existed in the province cease to exist. And all comrades who led the province are no longer leadership of the province. Our comrade Willis Ntun will play a leading role in reversing the devastating effects of the right-wing government of the DA and Inkata Freedom Party. KwaZulu-Natal deserves a progressive government of forces that are not associated with apartheid. We can assure the people of KwaZulu-Natal that will, in the foreseeable future, constitute a responsible government. We also take this opportunity to announce that Comrade Advocate Busiswe Mkwewana will be the convener of Umkonto Wesizwe Party in the province of Kukumala. Advocate Mkwebane, Advocate Mkwebane is a seasoned public servant and true fighter for justice and equal rights, and we can we can we all bear testimony to that. She is the former public protector who was unlawfully removed from the office for confronting the status quo and asking necessary and relevant questions to the sitting head of state. Advocate Mkwebane's consistency, composure, and professionalism will guide the province of Pumalanga into absolute stability and progress.
I want to repeat that again. Her consistency, composure, and, and professionalism will guide the province of Pumalang into absolute stability and progress. The MKP is the second biggest political party in the province of Pumala, yes. and we are the official opposition. Yes. The people of Pumalanga deserve quality leadership. Yes. And we believe that Advocate Nkwebane will play a central and leading role in the province of Mpumalang. Aye, yes. Mpumalanga, aye, aye. The national high. My apologies, President, it was not in your statement. <laughs> the national high command will, over the next few weeks, be identifying the, the, and appointing leadership structures at provincial and regional levels. As we said before, we command that members of the MKP must avoid and desist the demons of factionalism and gatekeeping. Yeah. We must avoid and desist the demons of factionalism and gatekeeping conflicts. Yeah. The leadership collective is not confused about its immediate and long-term objectives and, and work and will do will not do anything that seek to compromise the organization. We are led by the president that is a chess master. Yeah. Yes. We need to appreciate that. Oh, yes. We are one of the fortunate, it's not in the speech, but we are one of the fortunate to be led by the president who is the chess master. <laughs> we have an obligation, therefore, to understand and appreciate that which should reverse the government of national unity. We as MKP stand opposed to the so-called government of national unity. We reiterate our statement that this neoliberal coalition spearheaded by the DA and sustained through alliances with apartheid era beneficiaries symbolizes a betrayal of the working class and the people of South Africa, such a sad state. It is an, an affront to the principles of the National Democratic Revolution. These developments reinforce our shared conviction. It is time for all progressive forces to come together and resist the neoliberal agenda aimed at deepening inequality, poverty, and the dismantling of public services crucial to our people's well-being. The DA-led coalition has perpetuated the indignity of South Africans by, pres by preserving a constitutional framework that serves the entire rather than the people. That's, sorry, my that, that serves the elite rather than the people. The constitution hailed as progressive has in fact become an obstacle to land reform and the restoration of dignity. It protects the property rights of those who historically stole their land and ensures the continued marginalization of the majority. Under the Umkonto Sizwe party, we will scrap this constitutional supremacy in favor of one that prioritizes the dignity and sovereignty of the people. Thank you. We believe that only by returning to parliamentary sovereignty can we enact laws that truly reflect the will of the people and restore their dignity through land reform and the empowerment of traditional leadership. The dysfunctionality of the so-called government of national unity is also illustrated by its confusing foreign policy messages and statements in the current phase of the global balance of forces. 
the contradictory statement of the government of national unity allies in their approach to Russia and President Vladimir Putin are a cause for concern. It is utterly unacceptable and nauseating for the DA to distance the South African government or parts of it from an otherwise solid and sound historical and present relationship with Russia. Yes. South Africa has no enmity against President Vladimir Putin. He remains the good friend and ally of the global South and the African continent in particular. <laughs> Russia constitutes the core company of the USSR, which provided solid political, ideological, diplomatic, and military support through the struggle against apartheid and colonialism. The relationship between South Africa and Russia is built on solid foundation of anti-colonialism and pursuit for common prosperity. Since 2010, South Africa and Russia have been common members of BRICS, alongside the progressive nations of Brazil, India, China, and now other progressive nations and countries of the world. It is therefore unacceptable for the DA to send mixed signals to the global community about South Africa. <clears throat> and we further state that our cordial relationship with Russia Federation does not need the DA to interfere in it. The unacceptable statements of the DA also reveal the irreconcilable principles amongst members of the so-called government of national unity. These irreconcilable differences and principles are not correct for the image, stability, and integrity of the country. The country's integrity is damaged globally because the white comment of the so-called government of national unity is throwing mud at South Africa's allies in the global balance of forces. The leadership of Mkonto Isiswe will, over the coming week, be visiting all provinces to present the constitution and assist and assess